Hey, I want to show you today how to create a bulk uh, calling campaign in Zapier or Badge, but uh, using the outbound type of assistant. So uh, you'll need a Zapier account. Yeah, that's uh, straightforward. You'll need an agent that uh, is uh, completed in, in setup. So you did bring your own Twilio. You added a phone number to, to the agent here and a budget and everything uh, is all right. So let's let's do the setup. You set up the agent first, configure, doing the prompt and so on. After that, you can either work out here in Zapier inside Synflow, or you could work out directly in the Synflow tab. Uh, I do it here because I have more space and I can, I can show it to you. So uh, the trigger, I, I just added uh, this trigger here, which calls every hour scheduled. So you can go here, you can trigger it every hour, every day, every month, every week, how, how many times do you want. So if you want to call a huge list, you should uh, call between only between uh, 30 and 60 users per second. So you could do, trigger it between uh, minutes probably or hour. You can put in, in hour like 60 per hour and you, it will be all right. So you set this up, you, you put the time when it would trigger, it could start uh, at either, uh, either time that you want. Trigger on the weekends, yes, no, continue. You have to add the, you have to test you then have to connect your Google Sheet. Let me show you quickly how my Google Sheet is formatted because you'll need to uh, keep it a bit in a similar way. So uh, we have uh, a row, uh, a column, sorry, for phone, one for name, one for company, one for addresses, additional infos, and true. Uh, I should rename this, but this is basically, this will be checked if the call is made afterwards. So the phone, you need to have the, the to have a correct formatted uh, row here, uh, which is includes the, uh, the phone uh, time zone code, the name, company and address. I mean, you don't need to add those. I've added those. You only need phone and name as mandatory and the true. Those only if you want to add them as variables uh, inside your uh, inside your inside your prompt, so you would reuse them. For example, if we have company here, so first is when we have an example. Uh, so if you have company and you want to the AI to mention that company, you would add you would add it here. It needs to be written in the same fashion as you have in the spreadsheet, but only add the brackets to it. So that's the only caveat. And here it will use this company name if you want to pass it the variable and make the prompt more customizable. So phone, name, true, let's say mandatory. The other are optional depending on your use case. So you connect to your, uh, to your spreadsheet and you will have to uh, get the event, get many spreadsheets row, advanced output as a line of, as line items. You click on continue, you can, uh, select your account uh, and then you select a spreadsheet, you select your worksheet within that spreadsheet, um, number of rows to return, max is 500, you can do the 500, but yeah, like I said, do 30 or how many do you want, but be careful to not spam. Uh, number of the first row to return, one is a header, always remember that, uh, and you have to click continue. All right, test this step and it should pull all, all the data here, all the counts that we have. All right, we continue. Then we need to add a uh, looping by Zapier action. And after you add the looping by Zapier, you'll need to create a loop from line of items. Create a loop from line of items here. You click continue. And what you're going to have to do, let me make it uh, a bit bigger you'll have to write here each value that you want the looping to happen. So you will need to write one second, each column name, you'll write each column name here, 
a name for it and you will add it here so for the phone let me add it again so it makes sense you go here and you need to type formatted see so and you see here column a formatted rows and here are the phone numbers so this is the one that i've added i already had it for the others let me delete one and you do the same for the others formatted row column uh number uh and it needs to be the same one so name name and so on and so on uh trim white space yes if you have white space surrounding each individual value uh default is to true loop iterations how many times do you want to loop through the list so uh loop iteration is starting with one so it does it only one time and numbers of loop iterations can be the maximum number is 30. So, uh, for example, here, one second, you pulled out uh, 30, 30 rows into the spreadsheet. Here, it will go through all the 30, uh, all, all, it will go and search for the 30 uh, numbers, but how many times it will go and back and look for that 30 new and new um yeah new and newer uh fields rows that you have so for example you want to do a bigger campaign you have here let's say you would have here uh the top maximum is 500 you will have it here 500 you pull them here but you don't want to start calling them all of them in uh in the same looping so uh so uh, let's move on. You click continue here. Move for this. You'll see here um, multiple iterations. So if you see preview loop values one, two, three, four, that means it's worked. So you'll click continue here. It's an important step. You will add the sync flow action. You choose voice, make a phone call. You click continue. You connect your account by adding an api key you'll copy the api key from here integrations and copy that in the pop-up window that will uh you will get action here you'll have to pull the model id of your agent the model id can be found in several places here or under deployment zap here model id and api key they are both here actually uh so it's easier for for you to pull them uh to pull them here sick I close my window for a second so paste the model ID here and here under under phone and name which are mandatory to for you to do you click here you select create loop from lines click on it and the first rows will be name address uh, and let me scroll down select the phone number you can look for it like this phone here and the name was here so you add in the phone number here you add the name and the custom variables custom variables you pass them only if you have them so for example if we had company i give you an example previously so you add camp company and you add from here you go and look for company where it's company, one second, company. And that's how you pass a variable, if you have it in your prompt, if it's still existing in your prompt. If not, you don't need to do this. All right, continue, uh, test. I will not click because it will uh, call me, but you have to do a step, so the phone needs two rings. Uh, and after that, we add another spreadsheet action here. And the event we want to trigger is lookup spreadsheet row. You click continue this is already in you choose the same spreadsheet as here as previously the same worksheet the lookup column should be phone so you're looking for calls made into that specific column so that specific column is the column uh, with phone and you will look for the phone that it was looked through uh, here everything should should be empty bottom up or top down it depends where the search can start off 
with the last item or the first item. Uh, it doesn't matter, it's your preference. Uh, you click continue, you test this and you should find out that specific uh, row in your spreadsheet. And after that, you add another action in the spreadsheet. Uh, it's update spreadsheet row. If you continue action, you choose the same uh, the same uh, spreadsheet. And here I selected row five. Let's see which is uh, which is row five here. Row five is one, two, three, four, five, six is a F. Well, so that means we are going to update the row five. So you click here. We'll have to look into the number five, the lookup. And here you will have to look row five, uh, row, one second, row two. This is the one. So you choose that one, you look for that one, and uh, for the row two, sorry, not column uh, content. Um, so you'll have to look into the row two and uh, we're changing the cold column, actually. We're changing only the cold column. Right now, the cold column is this one. Uh, and uh, from false, this is false. This is false right now, see? It will be changed to true. So, let me go back here. Now we're taking it to true. So after the call will be triggered, it will start calling all your phone numbers. And after all the phone numbers are, are uh, called, um, we can then update the spreadsheet so we know that we, we call them. Let's 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 try actually. Give me one second. Uh, every hour trigger custom. Right. Right. One second. So, uh, yeah, I publish it. Let's see. Let's see, getting the call. So, you'll see here. See, Zeprons. All right, one phone is calling. Let me see. And the other is calling as well. So both of them are calling. Let me respond. Yes. All right. That's enough. Probably we'll start talking with each other. So let's see. Uh, this is the one. No, this is not the Zepron. I was. This is the one. Yes, let's see how it goes. All right, uh, let me close this for a second. Let me make it smaller. It works, it works, it works. Okay, so right now, if I go to the spreadsheet, uh, those calls should be marked as called. All right, so this is it. Thank you very much.